Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we uncover how new science exposed a stunning mistake, revealing that a prehistoric grave once believed to hold a powerful man actually belonged to the Ivory Lady, reshaping what we know about gender and power in ancient societies. A 5,000-year-old skeleton, which was discovered in a tomb near Seville, Spain, in 2008, along with an ivory comb, a crystal dagger, a flint dagger inlaid with amber, an ostrich eggshell, and an elephant's tusk, and believed to be that of man, has now turned out to be a revered woman of her times. On the basis of the analysis of the pelvis bone, initially, a specialist identified the skeleton as a probable young male who died between the age of 17 and 25. The remains, which were dubbed the Ivory Man, started being researched by a team of European archaeologists who called it a spectacular find. Almost a decade later, a new molecular method was used by researchers in 2021 to confirm the gender of the skeleton as part of a broader study on its discovery. However, the results left them in shock as the Ivory Man turned out to be a woman. This came as a surprise. So, this actually forced us to rethink everything about this site, stated study author Leonardo Garcia San Juan, a professor of prehistory at the University of Seville. The researchers discovered more about the woman and the society she lived in. In the past, it was not uncommon for an archaeologist to find remains and say, OK, this individual has a sword and a shield, therefore, he's a man. Of course, deeply mistaken, because it assumes that in the past, gender roles were the way we conceive them today, said Garcia San Juan. This technique, we think, is going to open up an entirely new era in the analysis of the social organization of prehistoric societies, she added. The latest method to determine the gender of old bones, which was first used in 2017, involves analyzing tooth enamel, which contains a particular type of protein with a sex-specific peptide called amylogenin, which can be identified in a lab. Speaking about the latest method, bioarchaeologist Rebecca Gowland, a professor at the University of Durham, said, It's being used more and more now. It's exploding a little bit, which is exciting. We are testing the limits and seeing how far back in time we can go. She further added that the method can be used on both childhood and adult teeth and is particularly useful for the latter. That's because it's impossible to tell the sex of children's skeletons until they go through puberty, she said. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.